Hello and welcome back to the Dragon Den. I am King of Dragons 5000 and today I have another action figure review. Today I'll be taking a look at the Bandai Tamashii Nation's SH Figure Arts Full Powered Frieza. Getting Full Powered Frieza out of the box we're greeted with a very impressive figure. At first glance, I have to say I really love the way this figure looks as it takes me back to the days of my youth when I had a Frieza that looked just like this. But that figure had very limited articulation and this figure is just stunning to look at. As far as his accessories go, Full Powered Frieza does come with four different head sculpts. As well as various hands for various style posing. Also included are two pairs of feet. He also does have his two death saucers. And we have a new faceplate for the Super Saiyan Goku. Having a look at Frieza, the sculpt work on him is quite impressive as it does look just like he did at full power. A massive upper torso and bulging muscles makes Frieza look very menacing. Taking a look at the head sculpt, Frieza has a very evil look on his face. The paintwork on it is quite impressive and Bandai keeps getting better making these faces look more like the anime. His menacing smirk looks impressive and I love the way the veins look on his forehead. And Frieza also has some scuff marks however those aren't painted unfortunately. And the purple part of his head is done in this really nice glossy purple. Going all the way to full power, you can see that Frieza has a very muscular chest. The muscle striations in his chest are nicely done and the veins are a nice touch. And you can see that Frieza actually has a much thinner waist compared to his upper torso. And again we do have these scuff marks going throughout his torso but unfortunately once again they're not painted. Frieza's big massive shoulders look quite impressive especially with the glossy purple at the top of each shoulder. The muscle striations are done perfectly here on Frieza with his bulging biceps and some veins on each bicep. And his bio armor on his forearm looks quite impressive especially with that glossy purple paint. Frieza still has that itty bitty waist which is accurate to the artwork and you can see that his legs are still muscular but not as muscular as the rest of his torso. His legs continue that impressive muscle striation which is sculpted beautifully and we do have some more veins on each leg. But the scuff marks do bring a nice touch to Frieza, I would have just loved to see them painted. On his shins you can see that his bio armor is still quite prominent and the purple plastic on it looks good. And then we do go down to Frieza's three toed foot which is done really nicely and I like the fact that his nails are painted. His feet are quite small compared to the rest of his body so standing him up might be a little bit of an issue. And Frieza's tail does protrude from the back of his torso and you can see that there are some veins on his torso as well. I especially love the fact that his tail is battle damaged from the spirit bomb and the sculpt work on his tail is still quite impressive here. Full power Frieza looks just like you would expect him with that very massive upper torso, skinny little legs and I love the way his muscles look here. One thing I do have to command Bandai on is the subtle shading that is going throughout all his muscles. The lighter blue does a really good job bringing out all that muscle definition so really good job by Bandai. With the paint and details out of the way let's have a look at how Frieza compares to our usual suspects. Getting Frieza compared to other figures, you can see he's still quite small compared to 6 inch figures but it is accurate to the anime. What he lacks in size he makes up in girth as he is very muscular and rivals that Super Saiyan Goku figure. So overall Frieza is going to scale nicely to the rest of your Dragon Ball collection but he will be slightly too small for other 6 inch lines. With his comparisons out of the way let's have a look at Frieza's articulation. Starting at his head, Frieza does have a double ball joint in the head and a ball joint in the neck. 
We have ball-jointed butterfly joints and ball-socketed shoulders. His arms hinge out to the side and do a full 360. He has a swivel in the bicep and double hinges in the elbow. At his wrist, Frieza does have a ball hinge. Frieza does have a single ball joint in the upper torso and a single ball joint in his lower torso. His legs do kick forward, go back, out to the side, and have a thigh swivel. He will have a double bend in the knee. Frieza is going to have a ball hinge at the ankle. And finally, Frieza is going to have a ball hinge in his tail. So overall, some great articulation here on Frieza, and I am happy to report that I don't have any issues with the articulation on mine. The joints move wonderfully, and I don't feel any resistance in any joint, and nothing feels too loose. So Frieza does have some great articulation and some really good quality control. With everything said and done about full-powered Frieza, let's get him posed for my final thoughts. Coming from one of the best arcs in Dragon Ball, full-powered Frieza here looks quite impressive. Back in the days when Dragon Ball was about going to your max power and bulging muscles, Frieza looks the part and I'm really happy with what Bandai did with this figure. He looks perfect and replicates what we saw in the anime and the manga quite perfectly and I absolutely love the way he pairs with Super Saiyan Goku. He has some great accessories with the heads having some great facial expressions and I absolutely love the death sauces that he comes with. It would have been nice if we got an alternate torso and an alternate left arm for Frieza so we can replicate him getting cut in half but overall he's still a great figure. And I love the addition of the punched Goku face as it does give you display options with Super Saiyan Goku. Overall, I'm very happy with full-powered Frieza and what he brings to the table. Now, unfortunately, he does come with some drawbacks. The main drawback is that he was a premium Bandai exclusive figure, meaning that if you didn't pre-order him at the time of his announcement, you did miss out on this figure. It is a little bit unfortunate that Bandai made this an exclusive figure, but I do like what they did with it. If you missed out on him, definitely track him down as he is a very good foil to that Super Saiyan Goku and you definitely need full powered Frieza in your collection. Thank you for watching another video here on the Dragon Den, but before you go don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel and check out the rest of my Dragon Ball videos. If you're in a position to help out the Dragon Den, check out my Patreon where I have some exclusive content and early access videos. Check out my Instagram account for new and exciting action figure photos, videos, recent pickups, latest prints, and as always, ring that bell so you never miss another video. And until next time, my loyal Dragonites coming from the Dragon Den, I'm King of Dragons 5000 reminding you to redesign, rebuild, and reclaim. I'll see you next time.